Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a do-it-yourself mini-series. This is the living room edition. Of course, you can use any of these ideas for any part of your home. Number one, metal pendant hanging lamps. I have recently seen a bunch of these all over Pinterest, as well as different websites such as Urban Outfitters, Overstock.com, and Pottery Barn. You could make these for indoor or outdoor use. I really love the way these look. I feel that they're very industrial but I didn't want to pay $300 for these. So I began my search. I first found the cage or pendant at HomeGoods and mine were actually on sale. They had a bunch of these at all three locations that I checked. There's also other options that you can use for these. You don't have to use these exact. A lot of other brands make something similar. For example, you may find a cage that's meant for a light bulb. You could find one that's meant for a candle or maybe a floral arrangement like a vase. This one in particular was actually a solar lamp. The top of it had that little strip that collects the energy and then it had a strip inside of this little clear tube that would illuminate in the night. It's meant for like a garden, so this was actually in the outdoor gardening section of Home Goods. My boyfriend actually helped me do this, but we first removed the inner piece of plastic or that tube. If you were going to use it for outdoor use, it does have that little base, so you could simply just put a candle on there, either a real one or a fake flameless one. But since we're using it in the indoors and we're making it into a lamp, we have to add the electrical cord and a light bulb. For this, we use the Hema from Ikea. This is a cord set. We got this in black and it's only $5. So I purchased two of those solar lights from HomeGoods and two of these black cords. Then my boyfriend drilled out the top of them. That's where the light bulb's going to go. That's also where the solar panel originally was. Got him. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not the correct way to actually do this. <laughs> so this is what the top should now look like with the cord and light bulb socket attached. Now you can add a light bulb. It's up to you if you want to put the plastic back inside or just leave the light bulb exposed. But this is your finished product. You can see I have two different style of the pendants. And now they're done. So you can just hang them from the ceiling in whatever room you want them. Super easy and super affordable. Number two on the list is a gate coasters with metallic borders. I've seen a ton of these all over the internet with ridiculous price tags. So I did some research and they're actually really easy to make yourself and a lot cheaper. I first found a set of four a gate slices on Etsy. There's a bunch of different stores and retailers that sell these. You can also choose your colors. I chose a neutral set. It has the blue, white, gray, and like earth tone detail on the side. Next, you're going to need to pick a nail polish. I chose this really pretty Essie nail polish. This is a bright silver. You could do gold. You could do really any color or texture. You could also do glitter and you're just going to paint this all the way around. I ended up painting each of mine with two layers and then setting it with a top coat of nail polish. Because these are coasters and they will be on tables, I put cork pads on the bottom of these. That'll help them from scratching the table. This keeps them from breaking when they're stacked together. Having the cork pads on the bottom also allows you to choose which side is face up. The pack of cork pads was purchased from the dollar store. These look super expensive and they look great in the home. They also make awesome gifts. Number three is the epoxy jars and jar filler. You can find these jars at pretty much any home or craft store, but they're always way overpriced. The same thing goes for jar filler, especially the nature type ones that you could find outside for free. If you live near the beach, that's the perfect opportunity to find jar filler for free. I found this giant bag of shells and driftwood at my local Tuesday morning for $4.99. The dollar store also sells a smaller bag for just a dollar. So I first went through the bag and picked out the items or shells that I wanted to have in my jar. For the jar, I made these myself using different vases and candle holders from the dollar store. I just glued them together to create a giant jar. 
I have a full video breakdown on how to make these step by step, so you can click this link here to see how I did that. I also have a similar idea at the end of this video to give you a better idea or visual on how I did that. But I'm just going to sift through my shells and different nature pieces like the wood and place these inside the jar. Just basically stacking them all on top of each other and flipping the prettier or pieces that I wanted to see on the outside of the glass. Any broken or cracked or dirty looking pieces I would face on the inside because that would be hidden by the other shelves. Depending on the size and shape of your jar will depend on how much jar filler you will need. You of course can place other items in this to fill the space, such as sand or a candle. You can really get creative with this, especially for seasonal filler. Here's another jar that I made. This gives you another idea for shape and size. I was getting kind of crafty with this, placing the rope around the top of it to get other ideas going. You could bow this, you could also glue a shell to the end of the tassels here. There's a ton of different ways that you can create and make this your own to go with your home decor and the look that you're going for. These wood spheres came with my shell pack, but as an example, you can see other brands that also sell the same idea for a much higher price tag. Again, these came with the $4.99 pack that I found, but I also was able to find a four pack in different colors at my local Michaels for a dollar. Here's my final product for the jars that I made by hand, as well as my jar filler. Number four, do-it-yourself curtain rods. All right, so if you were to go to Pottery Barn and buy all of these items to complete your curtain, just one window would cost you roughly $240. No thank you. So I decided to use half inch conduit piping. I bought this from my local Home Depot. It's just a lightweight metal piping. It comes in a bunch of different sizes and it's super cheap. So that's what I used for the rod itself. Now to make the end pieces, I wanted decorative pieces, so I had to get a little creative with this. I began with a cork. I actually bought a pack of corks which have the plastic lid on top for another project. You will see what those were for later on in another video. However, if you are a wine drinker or know someone that is, you might be able to just get your hands on a bunch of corks for free. These had that plastic top on them, which I don't need for this specific project, so I simply just cut them off. I just need the cork part. This is what you're going to use to place inside of the piping to hold your end piece. It's kind of trial and error. You're going to have to cut away at the sides to make this fit, depending on the size of the piping that you buy. Your cork should fit very snug inside of the tube. Now for the decorative end piece, I'm going to use doorknobs or cabinet knobs. You can buy these from your local home improvement store, such as Home Depot. You can also find these at like a Home Goods or on Etsy. There's a ton of different places you can find something similar. And you're going to screw this into the cork. Then you can place the cork inside of the pipe. You can simply leave it as is, but I wanted to add a little bit of a softer, more feminine touch to it. So I used a silky silver ribbon and I'm just tying this around the end where the pipe and the cabinet knob meet. After wrapping the ribbon around twice, I used a safety pin to pin this in place and then I cut off the extra fabric. Here is what your finished curtain rod should look like. These end pieces are super easy to change out or remove if you need to change out the curtain. I use this wall or ceiling bracket from Ikea to hang my curtain rod. It's only $1.49 for a complete window set. That's ridiculously cheap. They sell complete sets such as this one for only $9, but they also sell the individual pieces like I bought such as just the bracket or just a rod. They also sell tiebacks and curtain rings for super cheap. So if you have an Ikea close to you, I highly recommend it, not only for these pieces, but home items in general. 
Another little secret, Ikea also sells curtains and they sell them in a pair. So you get two panels in one pack. So I got two panels to complete my window for only $15. If you've ever bought curtains, you would know that they typically sell only one panel in a package. So hopefully you found this cheap and easy way helpful to make your own window treatment. The last project featured in this video is number five. It's a clear glass vase centerpiece that could be filled with jar filler or a candle. You can see the example here straight from Pottery Barn, which would run you from $50 to $100 just for the vase itself. Their vases were just clear glass cylinders such as these. I got these from the dollar store. They're each a dollar. I wanted to dress mine up a bit. So to go with the POC3 jars that, that I showed you previously, this is the same idea. I'm gonna use smaller tea light candle holders to create different textures and heights and different looks to my jars or vases. I simply take these pieces and stack them together. These dollar store tea light holders came in a pack of two. So you're getting two of these small little guys for a dollar. Using industrial strength glue, you're going to glue the pieces together. The dollar store has different sizes as well as different textures to create different looks for each base. Again, you can leave these bases as is, just as the plain cylinder with the flat bottom, or you can get creative with it and add other candle holders as a base, such as these small tea light holders. So here's a much cheaper alternative to create a beautiful centerpiece for jar filler, candles, or whatever you'd like. I hope you guys enjoyed these do-it-yourself projects. If you have any questions, make sure to read the description box or comment below. Give a thumbs up if you're a fan of my do-it-yourself series. Be sure to check out other related links in the description box. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.